The number of people coming into as opposed to leaving the country has gone up. In fact, net migration to the United Kingdom has risen to almost double the government target. Although many migrant workers are leaving, the figure of nearly 200,000 reflects a dramatic increase in the number of foreign students being granted visas, as our home editor Mark Easton reports. London's Imperial College has an international reputation and students from around the world are prepared to pay handsomely for the privilege of studying here. One Canadian medical student we met today spends £37,000 a year in tuition fees. Foreign students contribute 15% of all British university income, but there are concerns that some could be discouraged from coming to the UK by government efforts to cut immigration. If we look at some of the detail from today's data, we can see that over the past two years, net immigration into Britain fell, but is now rising again. Now, of course, the government is pledged to get that figure below 100,000 a year, and that's not going to be easy. If we look at visas issued, we can see here how the number given to workers and their families has fallen with the introduction of new, tighter controls, but student visas are up, 80% up, since 2005. Well, so I'll be here for the next couple of years. Among the 360,000 who came last year was young William Yu. He's Taiwanese with U.S. nationality studying medicine and says Britain's latest visa rules treated him like a security threat. Obviously, it's important to know who's coming and do biometrics and things like that for security reasons, but when you're a student who's just thought, oh, I think the U.K. would be a cool place to study, it can be a bit foreboding at times. The global market in education is expanding massively as tens of millions of students from developing nations in the Far East and India seek qualifications. Britain, blessed by some world-class universities and courses in English, hopes to grab a big piece of that pie. The income is so significant. Recent estimates have suggested £2 billion a year just in fees. Now, on top of that, there's living expenses, but directly to our universities is £2 billion. Concerns that the big rise in foreign students coming to Britain include some whose interest is economic rather than academic has led to tough new controls. The government is hinting the rules may get tougher still. It's clear that the student route has been used as a way of evading immigration controls and that's why it's so important that we, we follow up on the limit we're introducing on economic uh, routes to migration with a, a very careful look at all the other routes that people use to come here as well. The concern though is that in trying to stop bogus scholars and reduce net immigration, Britain ends up damaging its economy by driving potential income to other countries. Mark Easton, BBC News.